Okay. Call the meeting to order at this time, at least for the benefit of the board, as I see that we have one guest tonight. Glad you came. You came to the election commission meeting as well, right? No? Got it in between. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe you got a double header. Mm -hmm. Well, this has never happened in this will be my 10th year. And uh, Mr. Stivey has walked in. But uh, I don't think I've seen this few people in 10 years. And I guess if it was the last potential 80 degree day of the year, I guess I can't say that I, that I blame anybody. <laughs> so, but welcome to those who are here. I'm going to offer a prayer for guidance. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the meeting tonight, the privilege to come together, to reason together, to, uh, to make decisions, to, to debate and to discuss, and, and Lord, to uh, use the wisdom that you give us. We thank you uh, that you are um, sovereign over all things. And you're not a Republican, you're not a Democrat, God, but I pray we'd be asking if we're on your side, not if you're on ours. We pray that you'd give us wisdom to understand and see things as you do. And uh, help us, Lord, to debate, even disagree, Lord, but to do it in a way that honors and pleases you. Lord, thank you for all that serve the township. Bless and protect them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can stand and join me in the saying of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. you. May be seated. Uh, my quote this evening, uh, not surprisingly, has to do with judges. Uh, and this comes from Sam Irvin. Can anybody identify who Sam Irvin was? Yes, Speaker of the House many, yeah. many years ago. Okay. Hey, both of you. All right. Both of <laughs> you guys raised your hands. Do you remember John? That's so. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah, during. Uh, Very during, wise. Huh? Very wise. Yeah, he was around, though, through into Nixon, I think, into that time period. But uh, something he said that I thought was apropos is a judicial activist is a judge who interprets the Constitution to mean what it would have said if he, instead of the founding fathers, had written it. <laughs> Which is, yeah, I think a, a pretty good definition. That's why I see when, and a little bit of my political side comes out, but I don't think it's intended to be a political body. I don't think it is necessarily viewed as such by all sides, but I think instead you've got at least one side looking at it and saying, we just want you to interpret and apply the law, not make it, you know? That's not a Republican-Democrat thing, that's a judicial thing, so. All right, um, this time, uh, if the clerk would call the roll. Mr. Chairman, let the uh, record show that all members of the township board are present. Thank you. And is there a motion to approve the agenda this evening? So moved. Support. Move and supported, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. The agenda is approved. Item number six, communications, letters, and reports received for information for the benefit of our guests. That we received various things as board members, whether it be minutes of other committees or whether it be letters from people in the township, like yourself, if you ever sent one, we'd be sure and circulate it. We received those into the record. All right, item seven, public comment. For any items on the agenda this evening, so this would be your opportunity uh, to speak to them. And in Mr. Stiney's case, if you'd rather wait until Gavin is called and see if you're needed, we can certainly do that. And does anyone wish to address the board at this time? All right, seeing none, we'll close the first public comment period. Item eight is our consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve our consent agenda? I would make the motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Right. And moved and supported. Anyone wish to remove any of the items from the consent agenda this evening? All right. Seeing none. Uh, all in favor of the motion to approve the consent agenda, say aye. All right. Aye. The same sign. The motion is carried. Item number nine. A guideline resolution for poverty exemption. Is there a motion to support? <laughs> I would make that motion to approve the guideline resolution for poverty exemption 17 for 18 and 18 for 19 is recommended by the Finance Committee. Support. We've been supported. You all uh, saw the explanation, those of you who weren't on the Finance Committee. Anybody have any questions about that? Okay, seeing none. It's a roll call. Roll call. Yeah, roll call vote. So, Mr. 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 Bosch. Yes. Mr. Manier. Yes. Mr. Skolma. Yes. Mr. Weeringa. Yes. Clerk votes yes. Mrs. Steele. Yes. 
Mr. Schwamm. Yes, that was passed. All right, item 10, introduction to first reading of ordinance number 2018-17, control of weeds and plant growth ordinance revision. Is there a motion to approve this introduction in first reading? So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Again, uh, for those who weren't part of the Finance Committee, uh, you've seen the explanation here as well. Any comments, questions about that? Potentially, it's uh, to make it a little more expedient, uh, a little more expeditious, the giving of notice to those who need to bring themselves into compliance. All right, seeing no one, roll call vote. Mr. Schwamm. Yes. Mrs. Steele. Yes. Joint vote, yes. Mr. Weeringa. Yes. Mrs. Skolma. Yes. Mr. Manier. Yes. Mr. Bosch. Yes. That is carried. All right. Item 11, introduction and first reading of ordinance number 2018-18, franchise granted to Semco Energy Gas Company ordinance. Is there a motion to approve the introduction so of this ordinance? So moved. Support. Moved and supported. Comments? Questions? They've been around for <laughs> the last 30 years, and they're not exclusive. They'll seem to be around with, a, with an approving vote here. All right, uh, would you take the roll, please? Mr. Weeringa. Yes. Mrs. Skolma. Yes. Mr. Schwamm. Yes. Mrs. Steele. Yes. Clerk votes yes. Mr. Manier. Yes. Mr. Bosch. Yes. It's passed. All right. At this time, we're up to item 12 already, the second public comment period. And when wishing to address the board on any subject whatsoever within the township here, here would be an opportunity to do so. All right, seeing none, we'll close the second public comment period. Item 13, discussion and general information. I know there's a couple of things percolating. So who would like to, to bring up the topic of discussion at this time? I'll start. Um, Dan, will you put up that library thing? This was just floating around social media the end of last week, and it made me really excited. Um, I just think that Rob and his staff are doing such a remarkable job, and it's comparing June through September of last year with June through September of this year. Um, increases in circulation in libraries, a huge increase in program summer reading participation. Um, it just made me really excited. So kudos to the library people. Um, I have lots of kudos today. Um, last week, the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department, specifically Sergeant Stuckinga and um, the JPS Police Liaison Officers, came to Bursley and did CRAZE training, Citizen Responder to Active Shooter, which as a mom of school-age kids and as a teacher of school-age kids, um, that fills me up a lot of anxiety. But man, did they do a good job talking to our staff and just helping us feel knowledgeable and empowered um, and smart and um, proactive. So I'm just really thankful to our sheriff's department for making that happen for teachers. And I know they're going to work their way through the rest of the elementary this school year and did our secondary staff last year. But um, having firsthand been through that now, I'm just really thankful for it. Um, and then my last kudos was to the fire department. I took my two-year-old Thursday night to their big open house at Station 1, and um, Isaac was overwhelmed by the size of the truck. He was crying most of the time, but um, he he was excited, and um, and he he got a little sticker. He was deputized, and he was showing it to everybody at Baker the next day. And um, they just had a fantastic turnout. It was so great. Um, and they had that same day been at Denison's New Kids First School doing their fire prevention presentation to all of our little ACC kids. And, a ton of those families had then come out the same night, and um, it was just so well attended and so well done that I was really proud, you know, to be part of this community and to have participated with Isaac in that way. So that's all for me. Excellent. I think it's exciting to see the, the footprint out there in the new building and the, the new stairway that will be going down into the basement here, at least the, the hole that will provide that. And as Becky said, I think we're going to see an explosion once the building is completed. Uh, so many of our people have been going to area libraries um, because of service problems and because of facilities. Already, the uh, I have never heard a negative comment about our service. Uh, contrary, people will stop me and just say, it is sensational. Uh, they love the program, uh, the, the uh, very, very positive attitude. Uh, this is going to be very exciting for all of us. 
um, I guess we're looking at maybe next November, December, things might be finished uh, or in that ballpark. So about a year away. And I think it's going to be one of the biggest changes that Georgetown's ever seen. Oh, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Anything, Mr. Clerk? Uh, not at the moment. All right. My last? Nothing for me. Nothing for me. Michael? Uh, no, not really. Um, I did get that um, in service as we got the bar graphs, um, and I had questioned the numbers on it. <clears throat> and actually, I went, I went home and I looked at the numbers, and they, were, they weren't, the bar graphs don't match the numbers, so it's more of just a graphic, artistic license, I guess you'd call it. Um, and I also questioned for, for years, it's always been, we had over 2,500 kids sign up this year for summer reading. We had over 2,500 kids for the past three or four years they were staying there ever since the Kmart property. But then on paper, it says we only had 1,700. One of those is the numbers are just kind of, I just question that. But that's what the actual graph looks like. It's not as stunning, mm -hmm. but you know me, I'm one of those straight shooters, just the facts. Yeah. So it's gone up, but just not by as much as right. you'd say it would be. And I would like to see a graph, too, of, I know program attendance is up. It's, I've seen it taper off. <laughs> My daughter does a lot of them bringing class ukulele and stuff, and that's great. Um, I just wonder now when I see things like build a robot scrub brush, um, what it, I'd like to see a bar graph showing what we're spending now with taxpayer money subsidizing, you know, these programs. So, and I, and I talked to Rod about it after services too. I'd like to see more uh, private public partnerships on that kind of thing. Uh, get some companies maybe to sponsor that so it's not um, being subsidized by taxpayers for events that are not really library related, like building a robot scrub brush. It's neat and everything. It's a, community center kind of thing, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if with this new library, and I think it's actually part of the design and purpose is that we do get a, a more multifaceted um, menu of things. I don't know that's going to be strictly, you know, books and magazines. So. And I think we have to remember that literacy, there's like red literacy, but there's also like life skill literacy and coding and robotics is, well, my job, um, but a huge, huge piece of literature, 21st century. So. I think I do go hand in hand. I just had a couple of comments. The Cottonwood, if you didn't know it already, I think most of you did, they're back at full strength. That's a good thing. I saw them put topsoil down in the corner there um, earlier today. Makes it look a lot better. And just continue to, to view yourselves, um, as I know you do as ambassadors of the township. I'm surprised how often I have to show people or advise people as to where they can go to experience or to enjoy this side or the other, oftentimes parks and things. So uh, a little bit that I think goes back to science. A little bit just goes back to we're creatures of habit. We go the same direction, go the same way. We don't maybe even see things that, that have changed. Um, and uh, yeah, just remember part of our role is to introduce the public to, um, you know, to either things that have changed, like you mentioned the library and the attitude and so on, or things that are there to enjoy that they just may not be aware of. Uh, last thing, I, I really um, I want to bring this up, and I know it was in Dan's communique, so it's not a you no know, surprise to anybody, but there's been a lot of talk, at least at the supervisor level and at the managerial level, um, a lot of emails. I get in a lot of email strings and so on. I'm in an email group with um, township uh, uh, supervisors, and I know Dan and Rod have their managerial circles and so on that they, they get, you know, <laughs> clean list and what have you. A lot of talk, a lot of discussion and meeting about the uh, proposal. Is it 18-1? Whatever it is, one of the proposal one. Yeah, for it's called proposal one for short, but um, it is um, obviously having to do with marijuana. Uh, and I've read about it. There's a lot more I could learn about it. I bet there's some of you who've read indeed more than I have. Um, it, it strikes me as akin to what is in Colorado now. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I just anecdotally. People I know that live there, people I know that have visited there since that time, I, I mean one of them, uh, do notice certain things. And maybe, I suppose, if you're on the other side of the issue, you'd say, well, once it's legalized or decriminalized everywhere, you won't see such a concentration in one spot, thereby denigrating that one spot, perhaps, you know. So, yeah, that may be true, but I'd rather not see it proliferate, or at least I'd, not, I'd like not to be one of the states that's experimenting. Uh, and, and without really anybody sort of strong-arming anyone else, um, every 
supervisor of every township in Ottawa County uh, is in unison in their opposition to this proposal. Um, and uh, I don't know what Dan's experience in Rods has been as well, but it, it is a, you know, sort of an indigenous movement. No, no one's saying, you know, this is what you should think and believe. I think people just have a sense, the majority I'll say have a sense, that this is just not uh, a bridge they want to cross, uh, you know. And so I personally, again, just from my personal perspective, I think it stands a good chance of passing. Um, <laughs> I'm concerned. And uh, I am concerned about uh, the impact and the effect it could have on our state. Uh, you saw in what Dan sent out, and we've been circulating among supervisors too, sort of drafts of different proposals and things that, that different communities are passing. And when they don't pass, then you're obviously free to speak out on your own accord and say what you think uh, if, you, if you feel strongly about it. But I would like to see us uh, at least consider tonight um, a proposal uh, on behalf of the board that would, um, a resolution I should say on behalf of the board, that would uh, just let the community know more about the, the proposal one and, and to take a position as a township board um, against its passage. Uh, I'm not sure because I, I don't do these things outside of committee here, outside of meetings, so I really don't know where each of you stands. Uh, and I may be surprised to find that we're a split board, in which case I might just say, speak on your own behalf. But if we've got a, a good-sized majority of us, that the others, if there are you know, one or two maybe that was opposed, it would say, look, I'm not, you know, as opposed to you uh, publishing your, your resolution, um, I'd like to see that taken up. What are others' uh, feelings on that? I, I want to say if Dale was here, he'd be the expert, and I, I miss him on this because he was well-versed uh, when that came out some years ago. And I sort of feel like that mantle has fallen a little bit to Rich. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe he'd have different views than Dale would on the subject, however. <laughs> Uh, I remember he used to like to spell it with an H instead of a J. I remember that. <laughs> we used to get in debates about if it's a J or an H in the middle of it. But um, at least, Rich, I think it's fair to say that you have uh, read a fair amount about it and uh, probably have an opinion about it. Am I right about that? Yes. But I, I think in order to move the discussion forward, um, I would uh, recommend, I make a motion uh, that the township board adopt the resolution opposing the legalization of marijuana for general use in Georgetown Charter Township um, <coughs> as presented. And if that's supported, then I can speak to it. I'll support that. If I could just make a comment about that. Um, first of all, a township board may take a position on legislation or bills, if you will, um, by sending a resolution in support or a p opposition to a bill in the legislature. That's legal. Um, I checked this out with the MTA a legal counsel today. Um, however, a board cannot use township assets to fund to expressly advocate for. In other words, simply if the board approves this proposal, um, we then cannot, as a board, advocate for or against. We've just taken this particular position. An individual can. An uh, individual board member uh, can do that. Um, and in other words, you as an individual board member may take a position, obviously. Um, and you, in doing that, you may even use your own township title if you want to. Um, and if you're out in the public, and you know you can do that. And I have the I have the um, information from MTA here related to that. So I was a little concerned because of my position as a clerk and being involved with elections and about neutrality. Um, and I wanted to be sure that I wasn't doing something that legally I shouldn't do as a clerk. Um, however, um, I'm satisfied uh, that, um, and I know that I can take a position in favor or against uh, this resolution. And so 
um, I obviously I'm in favor of passing the resolution. All right. Uh, did you, in, in doing that, it's been, it's been moved and supported by John. Are there others who wish to speak to this? We haven't really gotten into the pros and cons. Obviously, that debate is welcome. Some of the uh, the cons to the proposal were uh, listed there, and you had a sheriff's letter as well that listed in the communique. I've seen other things that, that have uh, been distributed to me by email that are fairly similar in terms of the analysis of the impact and, and the like. Uh, I realize it's a freedom issue. It gets people fired up. You know, it really does. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, there's different perspectives out there. Anyone else wish to share their perspective? Just one more quick comment. I think we should acknowledge the fact that this particular proposal one has no effect on the current medical marijuana issues in the state of Michigan. That's that's still in effect. So this particular proposal is only allowing general use of marijuana. Jim, I, I strongly support Rich in this, and um, I agree with you. I, I believe it's going to pass. Uh, I think it's one of the major challenges of our time right now. Um, you can build a strong case for legalization. Um, my concern is, is the proliferation, the danger that it will have on young people. Uh, when the drinking age was 18, um, teaching was incredibly difficult. The students would drink their breakfast. Uh, when it popped to 21, uh, there was a dramatic uh, decrease. Having it available, even if it's at 21, I, I think you're going to see, particularly with these new vape devices, uh, more and more, particularly young people, utilizing them. Uh, there's not much we can do um, as, a, as a board, but I think taking a stand, saying that we see the danger in this and what it could do to the, the community. Uh, I did talk to superintendents locally, uh, I contact them, Roger Barrett and Tom Tembrink. Uh, they also are very, very concerned. Uh, I think we're fortunate in our area that our school systems have been incredibly proactive and um, so the security, the, the professionalism that I see locally is excellent, but uh, I, I, I see this kind of as a gateway drug, um, but this is personal. I, I was brought up in the inner city. I went to Central High School. Um, probably most of my friends were heavily into drugs, um, and I, I point blank said, I'm the one who will turn you in if you do it in front of me. I felt that way all my life. Uh, Central ended up with 20% um, of ninth graders graduating and 80% dropping out. Uh, this can change a community dramatically. But um, the, the point is that this is probably going to pass. Um, it's probably even unpopular to take a stand against this um, with, with some individuals. But... Um, I agree with Rich. I, I'd like to see us take a stand. The statistics that are in the uh, literature that, that Rich was referring to, I think, are excellent. I'm fearful of the long-term effects for our, our community. Uh, we're blessed here. But I'll tell you, these vape devices are incredible. And they're everywhere. I, I picked one up last week. It was laying on the floor. A student dropped it. I thought it was a cell phone. There was all kinds of students. I quickly handed to the security guard and said, this phone belongs to that young lady down there. He came back later laughing and saying, you realize, John, it was a vape device? <laughs> I sincerely thought it was a phone. Teachers don't know. Um, you have uh, classrooms where teachers are actually, students are actually using them in the classroom, and the teachers are not picking up on it. They don't realize it. I think this will proliferate that dramatically, but I, I, I support us taking a stand, but I can see how this is dividing our community, and it's way behind in the polls as far as, it's way ahead in the polls, probably going to pass. 
If we take a vote on this tonight, uh, in, in regardless of whether it's unanimous, anybody who's opposed uh, is obviously, as Richard said, free to speak on your own behalf. Speak on your own behalf. Speak in your, you know, use your position if you like. You won't be representing the board, uh, uh, but you obviously don't give up that right. Is there anybody who would like to make the opposite case? I have not decided where I stand on um, Proposal 1 as a whole. Um, that said, I respect that as a board we can issue a resolution coming down on one side or the other. I just don't know if I feel comfortable with the idea that we would. You know, it's one of those things where just because we can do it doesn't mean that I would feel great if we did. Um, and so I don't, I really don't know how I feel about Proposal 1. I feel like I have a lot more reading and researching about it to do before um, election day, before voting day. Um, but I'm not in support of this motion, not because I'm necessarily pro-Proposal 1, but just because I think that just because we can do it doesn't mean that we should. Are you opposed or would you be an abstention? I would be an abstention. Hmm. All right, respect that. Anyone else? Wish I, you would, I would support it. Okay. All right. I'm going to fall in line with Becky and, and you know, when I was back on the, the campaign trail, I actually was was in favor of, of the proposal in terms of dollar signs, in terms of bringing revenue to the state. Mm -hmm. and, and at that time, I looked at it as it, it's an existing thing. The, it, it exists, uh, the medical, mm -hmm. and, and, and knowing that not only when that passed, that, that passed in Ottawa County. I mean, that was... That passed here in, in, in a red area. Mm -hmm. So um, knowing that it exists, knowing that it's going to exist, mm -hmm. my thought was why not reap at least the, the revenue benefits of it? And that money goes to help uh, as part of it for veterans and, and roads, and uh, some could go to municipalities that, that have the facilities. So, um, you know, as that's progressed, I, I had a very quick, I wanted to sit more in depth with, with Sarge, so, you know, what, what are your thoughts on it? No, I, I don't like it at all. Okay, well, that that's important to me. I mean, I want to talk to the, the, the people in the community that it, it's going to make a, a big difference for. Right. Right. And so that's kind of, in terms of looking at it from a dollars and cents, I look at it as whether it passes or not, those same kids are going to have those pens in John's class. Uh, you know, it, it, it maybe if it passes, maybe there, maybe there are more, maybe there's not. I, I don't I don't know the answer to that, but we have more dollars going to fix roads. Um, and because I don't, I, I've, I've shifted, and I'm, I'm not at a place where, I'm, where I've landed yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm uh, I, I would probably be an abstain as yeah. well. All right, I respect that. I think you don't have to speak to, but you're welcome to. Um, well, I think Colorado is a perfect example of the negative consequences of what happens when you legalize recreational or general use marijuana. Um, so I'm opposed to it. Um, I'm also opposed to, um, I guess, I don't like government trying to tax things, because I had said that years, 15 years ago when they taxed cigarettes. I said, well, once that revenue is gone, they're going to go searching for replacement because government can never feed that insatiable hunger for more tax money. So using it as a tax uh, revenue source, I'd be against. I was originally, um, from the onset, thinking it was going to pass uh, when it uh, went on the ballot in November. But I think I'm, I'm, I'm going the other way. I, think, I don't think it's going to pass. It's going to be close, uh, but I don't believe it will pass um, for a number of reasons. One, we already allow medical marijuana use, and everybody knows how easy it was to get a, a medical card. Um, so most of the people that wanted it for fun already have it anyway. So, um, But as far as a board resolution, I, I, I kind of have to say is that I don't think it's up to us to have a resolution for it. We can each have our own you know, stance on it. Um, I'm adamantly opposed to it, but I, I, I just don't see the point of the resolution. Um, all right. Well, everyone has spoken to it. There's a motion uh, before you. The question is whether or not to proceed with the vote on that motion or if uh, you, you originated the motion. Uh, Rich? Uh, I think we proceed with the yeah. vote. All right. And I, again, I don't know, um, and I need clarification on this in terms of its 
abstention. I don't know if people can they have to either vote yes or no. They cannot abstain. Yeah, there's no there's no other choices. Okay. Okay. We've had abstention in the past. Why is it what's unique to this? If you have a personal financial or conflict, yeah. the rest of the board can authorize a member to abstain. All right. Okay. On that okay. Personal conflict. But there's okay. No, there's that. no personal financial. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in, in I guess for those who may be on the other side of the issue, um, when you can't spend money on it, it's as much as a you know Facebook or a you know website uh, announcement would have you. And I don't know if that's a you know especially in the midst of election season already with uh, absentee balance in a sense we're a little behind the eight ball as it is. Um, it's uh, it's a statement to some, but I don't think it's an overwhelming uh, impact certainly. And of course, there's, as we well know, there's certain people who really go, oh, the board's for it? Okay, I'm against, you know, whatever the board is voting for it. But I still think it, it is a, it's symbolic and uh, it's important symbolism, in my opinion. So, um, we can vote to, by voice vote, right? We don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign? Aye. Uh, okay, so five to two. Five to two? Okay. All right. Well, um, I would like to say one more thing on that uh, on that score. Um, I've been uh, talking a little bit with my legal friends and then also among the um, supervisors. And if this should pass, and I don't really know the ins and outs of it fully yet, but there's an opt-out provision that uh, that I don't again fully understand quite yet. But I'd like to see us give direction to Dan to have our legal counsel who I think is fairly well versed in it because I saw recently that they were giving a seminar uh, locally on the subject, so that tells me they're immersed in it. I'd like to see them give us advice um, that should it pass. We're already pursuing you, Okay, all right. All right, so you don't need any sort of a encouragement from the board in that respect. Okay. It's just important that we understand its legal ramifications. Um, yeah, just basically I've asked if it does pass to be able to give you the information and what direction, what your options are. So. Okay. All right. Well, at this time, is there a motion to adjourn? Mr. Sipuri. I would oh, make oh, a motion to go into closed session. Dan, of all people. <laughs> <laughs> Superintendent's evaluation. All right. I will move that. Yeah. Support. <laughs> and uh, let the record reflect. This is at Dan's request. So we're going to go into closed session. And for the few that are here tonight, when we come out of closed session, there'll be no further board business done at that time except to, will work to make a vote on any recommendation. Uh, next let week. me finish. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> except to vote on whatever recommendation <laughs> may come out of the, uh, sorry. the, the, uh, the uh, closed <laughs> meeting. So, all right. And with that, we'll adjourn to the conference room. Yeah. All in favor, say aye. 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 Signs carried. Please leave the mic. Sorry. Okay. Okay, we need a motion to come out of closed session. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The motion is carried. Now, is there a motion as it relates to our superintendent's contract? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to make uh, the following motion that we um, amend the superintendent's contract, if that's the correct word, I think it is, to reflect that um, for 2019 we will have, uh, we are um, providing a 4.5% increase in salary on the base and that in addition uh, the board feels that because of exemplary service uh, that we will also provide a bonus in the amount of $10,000 and I move that. No support that one. No support in any discussion? I'll start. Um, I think, Dan, the, the list of reasons that you are valuable to this township is endless. And there's a lot of things that we can list, ways that you save us money, save, you know, ways that you support all of us behind the scenes and, um, and right up front. To me, your power as an administrator of this township comes from the way that you work with people, the way that you work with us, the way that you never say no or tell me I'm crazy when I call you an hour before a meeting with something that I want to talk about. Um, just with your grace and your professionalism, um, I just think that this is absolutely deserved. You work very, very, very hard to support all of us and 
to make our ideas come to fruition in the township, and we appreciate you. Thank you very much. If I can also add to that, uh, as Becky just said, Dan is incredibly competent, always available to us. We have 30 full-time employees, and for 51,000 people, frequently you have three to 400 employees. Um, his business sense, the fact he was elected seven times as treasurer, no one knows as much as he does, and he saves us hundreds of thousands of dollars regularly and, and probably millions because of his expertise. But uh, in, incredible job that he's doing for the taxpayers here, and he loves this township. All right, I think we would all echo the sentiments uh, what I heard in that room. So at this time then, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 The same sign. Motion is carried. That's very generous. I want to thank you all. It's a pleasure to work for you all. And I feel very honored. And, uh, you know, that's kind of beyond expectations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, now a motion is in order to adjourn. So moved. Support. In favor. Aye. 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 Mm -hmm. Adjourn. Mm -hmm.